Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X also known as the Redmi K40 and the Poco F3. Now today we are talking about yet another amazing port based on Oxygen OS that is based off the OnePlus 8 Pro device. I've been using it since the last two days and it's time to drop a complete review. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kailash, let's get going. So first things first, uh, let's quickly have a look at the changelog, although we did have a look at it while we made the install video for which we will go to Poco F3 updates and we should have the details right about here. So Dolby Atmos and sound fix is available as a Majisk module flash. I've already done that. Changing kernel might result in a boot loop. SE Linux is permit permissive and decrypted by default. So all those things were mentioned in the initial video as well, but this video is the review and that's what we're going to talk about. Now Oxygen OS being Oxygen OS, the good thing here is that it is fluid it is absolutely smooth it has no problems whatsoever in this particular update so as far as the ui experience is concerned the smoothness is just next level and that is always a good thing so if you go to about phone you will notice that this is the snapdragon 865 powered oneplus 8 pro not exactly that is the ported device from so all the info is available as per that device the android version in question is android version 11 and the kernel of course is optimus drunk alien kernel right now once you go to the home screen typical oxygen os stuff is present all oxygen os apps are there make sure you go to the play store and update all the applications to the left i've kept google feed and just see how smooth the google feed experience on this one is now the thing to note over here is this rom doesn't really come with a lot of bloatware and it doesn't even come with a camera application so you're gonna have to install gcam which will you know give you some camera capabilities at least Fingerprint scanner works absolutely fine, but face unlock, of course, is not available. I have flashed Majisk along with the safety net fix and Dolby Atmos fix, and Dolby Atmos is working just fine, including the dual speaker system, right? Now, if you go to the edit menu, you will see that you have a ton of quick tiles available over here. Things like reverse charge and all those things might not work because those are device specific features and this particular device doesn't support that feature. So if you go to the screen recorder, you can agree and then have a look at the settings over here of the screen recorder by OnePlus. You can record in 60 FPS in the screen resolution. You can also record in 4K as I can see over here. That is a good thing. You can use microphone or internal audio. You don't really have internal and external audio and a few other options. So let's quickly go ahead and, uh, you know, record the internal audio and see how good or bad the quality is. So it is recording now. Let's see here. Do we notice any lag in the UI? Not really. So if you're planning to play games on this and use the internal screen recorder and you're okay with not having external and internal audio, well, you should be good to go. There should not be any major issues there. Let's go ahead and stop the recording here, which will take us to the gallery. Let's see this. Okay. Now in the re recording, there is a very, very slight stutter, although it will not deteriorate your experience, but yes, that particular stutter is present. So that's everything about the built-in screen recorder. Now let's have a look at some OnePlus applications. For example, the OnePlus dialer over here, as you can see, if you dial 198, let's go ahead and put it on speak. Right. So call recording and calling is working absolutely fine. Let's actually go to settings let's go to wi-fi and let's check for wi-fi calling in here sim and network go to the sim and enable wi-fi calling right so once you have enabled wi-fi calling voice over wi-fi indicator comes so Wi-Fi calling is working absolutely fine. The APNs, the internet from the mobile data is working fine. Wi-Fi connection is working okay. 5 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, all those features are available and they work absolutely fine. So what this means is you should be able to use this as a daily driver if you are okay with, you know, a few issues here and there. As I said, you need Majisk and safety net would break. So I did try to, you know, fix it. So if we run the test over here, as you see, it says failed, but if you try any banking applications, it should be working just fine. We can also quickly go ahead and install uh, DRM info to check 
the widevine l1 certification status which will determine if you'll be able to play amazon prime in hd or not netflix in hd or not let's allow this particular app to install till then we can look, look at the other aspects of this particular rom now the good thing with oxygen os is the scrolling is super smooth the rom works absolutely fine you do have a ton of beautiful oneplus wallpapers which are there to be used and they work absolutely as expected so nothing to worry there as you can see i've set a wallpaper also the oneplus live wallpapers are working if we actually talk about the widgets over here all the oneplus and the android 11 widgets are present and they work absolutely fine now, if you go to home settings you do have a ton of options in the oneplus launcher and all of them are working as expected including the hidden space now moving on let's actually go to settings and have a look at a few goodies of oxygen os you have things like vision comfort breeding mode all these features are available vibrant color effect is something that i have turned on you do have status bar customization in which you can display the network speed and battery percentage you can customize the clock and you can determine what all icons are allowed to show notifications over there now you do have ambient display which also gives you access to always on display there is a slight problem with that i will share that with you in a bit so let's actually explore that problem that i mentioned but before that if you go to customization you have canvas aod clock on ambient display all these functions are present let's for example go ahead and apply this okay now let's see if we have double tap to lock we don't now we're going to look at the always on display as you can see it is present and it works absolutely fine and oneplus has one of the best uh, always on display looks as far as i'm concerned so those are pretty good things and they work absolutely fine so nothing to worry there you do have horizon light as well so that feature is working as well moving on if you go to sound and vibration as i mentioned after flashing the magisk fix dolby atmos is present and it works absolutely okay and all the other advanced options of the sound menu are available and they work absolutely fine if you go to apps and notifications, you get the standard Android 11 stuff. So nothing new there. Under security and lock screen, fingerprint is available. Face unlock, although will not work. If you go to privacy, you do have some privacy controls over here. And the interesting part, if you go to battery. Now yesterday when I was using the phone, I, I left the phone idle for say 8 to 10 hours. And 23% of the battery was consumed by always on display. So probably that is something that needs to be optimized by the developer. But otherwise the battery life on this ROM has been pretty decent. Even when doing a mixed usage of some gameplay and some other things, it works absolutely fine most of the time. You get 4 to 5 hours of screen on time. Fast charging works okay, including the 33 watt charger. You get about 28 to 30 watts of charging, which is a pretty decent speed of charge. Now, apart from this, you have digital well being, you have some app locker and utilities like OnePlus Switch, OnePlus Lab, and all these things. DC dimming is present, and under system, you have OTG storage and all the other options. So basically almost all the Oxygen OS features are present and they work fine. If you're someone who can get around the safety net fix and stuff like that, then you should be good to go. You would not really have any major problems. Let's actually see if DRM info has been installed or not. For some reason, it's taking its own sweet time. Now let's talk about the interesting part that is uh, the benchmark numbers. So if you go to gallery, screenshots section you will see that the average score was 202447 gips and the maximum score was 239867 gips so those things are fine but the cpu throttled to 77 percent of its max performance now that is not good and it might give you issues when you're actually playing games and stuff like that let's actually go to n2 to benchmark and see if the story continues or not now, when you talk about N2 to benchmark over here, you will see that the score is 590 to 789. Now, that's drastically low. I really don't know why. And the same story continues in Geekbench. Even after allowing the phone to cool down, the performance is not up to the mark. You can see that I had two runs. The multi-core score increased a little bit, but overall, this device can get 1000 on single core and about 3300 on multi core. So performance per se, it is not that great. And I did try gaming. Yes, this ROM allows you to play at 90 FPS and the game experience was fine. I will definitely do a, you know, gaming review or probably a gaming live stream on this. For now, as far as Oxygen OS is concerned, you can definitely use this as a daily driver if you're not a hardcore gamer and you can get around the, you know, magisk root sort of things in safety net fix. All in all, very decent port can be flashed through TWRP and a good way to experience Oxygen OS on your Mi 11X or Poco F3. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.